Welcome back to Autodesk Maya 2017. So in this tutorial, we're going to go over some of uh, the viewpoint uh, viewport options up here in the top here. So if I click on any of these drop-down menus, you'll see lots of different sort of things. Here's the different renderings. So we have viewport, legacy, and then uh, leg legacy high quality viewpoint. So you can try these different uh, viewers here. Depending on your graphics card, you know, it'll uh, basically show one over the other. Um, here you can see all the cameras. So if you have more than one camera, I have several here. You can create a new camera by just clicking on that. Uh, there's orthographic views here if you need to set it to a specific orthographic view. Uh, you can look through selected camera. Uh, you have panel options and then uh, a few other options down here. Then we have the show menu, which kind of went over last tutorial, where uh, right now I, I have everything selected, but I could choose none. And then I could start to bring back some things, like for example, I could bring back um, polygons. It would just be polygon geometry. I'm going to go ahead and choose show all. Uh, under lighting, we have different. We have the default lighting here, uh, but we can do two-sided sided lighting. This is good for uh, showing uh, flipped normals. So if you have a black area on the polygon, usually that's how it's visible. Uh, you can use no lights, which is that one there, or you can use flat lighting, which is good for showing silhouettes. So if I was just looking at the silhouette here. Uh, let's see, turn off two lighting. And then, um, of course, you can uh, use selected lights if there's a particular one, or just use the default lighting here. Under shading, we have different shading options. We have wireframe, uh, we have flat shaded, uh, we have uh, flat shaded select items, we have wireframe on shaded, is very popular because it shows the shaded but also shows some of the wireframe just straight wireframe of course and these are all have hotkeys that we kind of went over in previous tutorial but they are again four for wireframe five for shaded solid six for textured and seven for lighting so I will go back to shaded solid here under uh, the shading you also have some other options that are pretty important we have um, x-ray joints wireframe unshaded checked um, if you don't have any textures, uh, hardware texturing is pretty important to have on here in order to see your textures. So uh, that's an important one to show. And then under the view menu, we have things like you can select the camera, you can uh, cycle through cameras, you can um, align camera and so forth. So there's those main options here. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is all these little widgets here and a lot of these are sort of reflected up here uh, for many things. So the first one here on the far right, again this is the bottom left here, it'll show what it is if you just hover over it. But We have x-ray joints so if I, let's turn off some of this stuff, let me turn off the uh, nerves curves and uh, let's go to shading and choose uncheck wireframe on shaded. So you can see here we have the T-Rex with bones inside. So if I turn off this uh, x-ray, you'll see that we can't see the bones out inside the geometry. You kind of see it towards the outside, but you can't see it on the inside. So if I turn that on, you can see it in there. And um, you know, these are just for the components. Then there's x-ray mode, which basically makes everything kind of trans translucent in a way where you can see through it, um, the objects here. Let's click off there. The uh, next one here, if I click on an object and I want to isolate it, I can choose this one with the arrow. This is the isolate select. So now uh, the T-Rex is the only thing in the viewport here. So I can uncheck that. Um, the next ones have to do with like uh, aliasing. If I add that, it just smooths it out a little bit more. Uh, there's motion blur if there was some animation. Ambient occlusion, let me turn on, um, let's go to lighting and we'll use all lights and let's see, um, we'll add shadows so you can see here shadow and I'll deselect the T-Rex and I'll turn off the uh, joints, there you go, so it's a little easier to see here. So you got some shadow here 
And uh, what I wanted to show you was, let's see, where is it here? The ambient occlusion. So if I'm going to click on this little guy here, pay attention to the sort of the bottom areas of the T-Rex. There's a little extra sort of shadow area in there, and that's the ambient occlusion that you can turn on and off. Here's the actual shadow tab. So this little guy here turns off the shadow. Here's the light, so it basically chooses the default lights versus the um, directional lights I have here set up. Uh, this one gives you the textured, so you can click on that, show all textures. Uh, this one shows the wireframe on shaded, so you can see how a lot of these are reflected up here. Uh, this one is the default material which we don't want to use, but um, we have shade smoothed, and then of course wireframe here. These little widgets here, from here to here, have to do with the viewport in terms of uh, setting up for animation. So the first one here, this one is the film gate, and it kind of shows you the aspect ratio. Uh, there's two different kinds. There's the resolution gate, which gives you the actual uh, aspect ratio here. And there's a gate mask that you can turn on and off here. So that's kind of cool. But you can also, uh, you can toggle between the film gate and the resolution gate. The resolution gate is going to be a little more accurate. You can see here, uh, right now I have it set to 1280 by 720, where the film gate uh, is doing more of an HD kind of quality film here. So let me turn this one on. The next ones, if we click on here, the field chart basically provides a grid that shows over the whole image here. Um, don't really need to see that right now. But the next one, the safe action. This basically provides you a safe area of action, so you don't want to go beyond the bounding box here uh, for any very important action. And the next one is for a safe title area. So this is if, if you're going to create a title sequence in here, uh, you'd want it to be inside this bounding box for the rendering. Okay. Some of these other widgets, we have grease pencil if you want to mark up the, the scene here. Uh, there's a zoom tool and image plane tool. The image plane, basically when I click on this, it brings up a uh, editor here where I can select, uh, or navigation, I say file navigation, select a, a texture to basically bring in as a film plane. And that's just set up right there. Then we have bookmarks. Bookmarks, basically what they do is if you have your camera set up a certain way, you can click on this and add a bookmark and it will basically go to that particular area. You can also do it through locking down your camera. So here's the camera attributes. If you click on that, it opens up the attribute editor and uh, basically your camera attributes here. It shows up. So you can do that. And so if you need to adjust focal length, angle of view, and so forth. But this one here, the one with a little lock here, if I click on this, what's really cool about this, if I hold Alt or Option, try and zoom, pan it out, Nothing's happening. It's because this camera is locked. So if I tap the space bar and come over here and create another view um, by going to panel perspective and choose another one of these perspective views, you know, I can basically rotate however I want and have essentially another camera set up here. So that's pretty cool. Let's see. Um, and then finally, here is the select camera. So if I want to actually select the camera to animate it, uh, if I'd want it to be unlocked, but this is a quick way to get to the channel box and basically key out the uh, the camera here. So when I select this, you know, I can key any of these and basically the camera will be um, animation ready, so to speak. So those are sort of the viewpoint options, viewport options in here. And, um, you know, uh, you have the little widget down here, the X, Y, and Z. Um, that's basic overview. Until next time, we'll see you soon in Autodesk Maya. Cheers!